a man, his son, and his donkey were once going to the market. As they were walking along on either side of the donkey, the man and his son, they passed a group of men who saw them. Uh, they said to them, you fools, what is the use of having a donkey if you are not going to ride upon it? Uh, so hearing this, the man put the boy on the donkey and they went about their way. Uh, but soon after, they passed yet another group of men who said to them, look at that lazy youngster. He lets his father walk in the hot sun while he rides comfortably on the animal. So the man ordered his boy to get off and he got on himself. But of course, they hadn't gone far when they yet again went by another group of men who said to them, shame on that lazy man. He lets his poor son walk along in the sweltering heat while he sits comfortably on the animal. Well, at this point, the man took his son up on the animal with him. By this time, they went past yet another group of men. They said, Aren't both of you ashamed of yourselves for overloading that poor donkey of yours? Look at the amount of load you are placing on the animal. This definitely has to be oppression. So the man and the boy got off and they tried to think what to do next. They thought and thought until eventually the only option they were left with was to lift the donkey on their shoulders. Then, with the donkey on their shoulders, they went along in this particular fashion with all the people laughing at them, saying, look at those fools, they have an animal to ride upon, but instead of them riding the animal, the animal is riding them. An old man who had witnessed the whole fiasco said to the, ma to the man and his son, try to please all and you will certainly end up pleasing none. On the backdrop of that story this morning, I want to discuss the topic that many of us grapple with. It is, of course, the habit of being overly concerned about what other people would say or think about us in our social interactions and in our decision-making process. We oftentimes find ourselves seeking external validation and approval. Yes. However, this preoccupation can lead to negative consequences for our self-esteem, for our personal growth, and of course for, for our overall well-being. When you constantly worry about what others will say, you tend to mold yourself into what you believe they will expect from you. This can lead to a loss of authenticity as you suppress your true thoughts, you suppress your true feelings and your desires. You become trapped in a cycle of people-pleasing, compromising your own values and your own or, uh, your own approach to things. In the long run, this can of course prevent you from forming genuine connections and hindering your own personal growth. Being overly concerned about what others can say, what others may think about you, can definitely be very, very emotionally draining. Constantly seeking validation from others puts you, puts you in a very vulnerable position indeed as you give away your powers to external sources. It is almost as though you are handing over your affairs to others based on what they say and based on what they think. And this reliance on external validation can definitely become a never-ending quest, leaving you emotionally drained, exhausted, and above all, anxious. Your self-worth becomes dependent on the opinions of others, leading you on a roller coaster of emotions based on their acceptance or criticism. When you allow people to dictate your pace, when you allow others' to, uh, others' opinions to heavily influence your decisions, you limit your own potential for growth and your own personal fulfillment. You will start to avoid taking risks or pursuing your passions 
because of fear of judgment or disapproval. Furthermore, constantly seeking approvals from others can lead you to attract and to maintain relationships that are based on superficiality rather than on uh, authenticity. You will find yourself surrounded by people who only accept you when you conform to their expectations rather than embracing you for who you are. So it is very, very important as you go through the course of your life to understand that this can sometimes be very detrimental to your growth. So how do you counteract this mentality well number one you've got to challenge your thoughts recognize that thoughts about what others would say about you are only thoughts in your minds and is not facts question the validity and the importance of those thoughts ask yourself if they are serving you in any positive way or if they are holding you back from being your authentic self it's very important that you shift your mindset by reframing how you view other people's opinions. Remember that, of course, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. But it doesn't mean that they are accurate or that they are even relevant to you in your life. Remind yourself that you have the power to choose which opinions to value and which opinions to focus on. Build a strong sense of self-worth and rely on self-validation rather than seeking approval from outside. Remind yourself of your own values, your own strength, and your own capabilities. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion. Understand it is quite natural to have concerns about what others may think. But beating yourself up over it only puts you in a cycle of overthinking. Recognize that comparing yourself to others is definitely a losing game. Understand that everyone has their own unique journeys and struggles. And instead of comparing and focusing on your own progress, instead of comparing with, uh, with others, Try your best to focus on your own journey. Focus on your own progress. Celebrate your achievements. Acknowledge your efforts. Regardless of how much they try to put you down. And finally, very importantly, surround yourself with supportive people. Surround yourself with individuals who accept and appreciate you for who you are. Seek out supportive friends, family members, or community members that can continue to encourage you, that continue to push you in a direction of personal growth. So in conclusion, being overly concerned about what other people would say can have detrimental effects on your authenticity, on your emotional well-being, on your decision-making process, on your relationships, and of course, on your personal growth. So as you go through the journey of your life, remember, freeing yourself from the grip of others' opinions takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself. Celebrate each small step towards greater self-acceptance and self-confidence. Embrace your uniqueness and live a life that aligns with your own values and aspirations. And in everything that you do, always put the Almighty first and He will do the same for you.